what up everybody, it's Sassy Assassin here. So this video is under the Fair Use Act of 1976. This video is not meant for children. This video is not meant to bully harass anyone, including Jeffree Star, since he is the subject of today's video. Keep in mind, when I talk about things that I need or want for my channel, I'm not begging for money. I do accept donations, but I'm not asking for it. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or any of the videos I've made so far on my channel, please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. Thank you. Hey guys, so I'm deciding to do a different kind of video. Um, I'm going to react to Jeffree Star's most recent video, um, Doing What's Right. So we all been waiting for him to make a response. He's been pretty quiet as of until now. And uh, I'm kind of curious as to what he has to say. And I'm not going to speed this up in any way. Because um, I want to hear everything. But um, I'm going to try to be as fair as I can. Okay, I, you know, and I'm, I'm afraid that, honestly, I'm afraid, like, he or somebody might come after me for this. But you know what, though? Like I said in my disclaimer, I'm not here. I'm not gonna bully or harass him, you know, anyone in any way. So, um, I just thought this would be a different kind of video. So, all right, let's get into this video. All right, I have to say though, I do like the couch. Like seriously, um, that looks so comfortable. Um, oh my god, like I love that couch. But all right, anyways, sorry. I'm going to be eating my dinner while doing this, but don't worry, I'm not going to, like, be close to the mic and chewing and stuff like that, so you won't hear that. But anyways, let's get into this video. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Now, I've been silent for a very long time. I know that's very rare for me. I've taken a lot of time to do a lot of self-reflection. Now, in the past, I've been very guilty of speaking out of anger, out of frustration, out of my emotions. I'm so quick to grab my phone and just say whatever is on my mind in that moment without ever really thinking the ramifications of my words, my actions, and for the first time in a very long time, I'm, re I'm really reflecting on my behavior and mine alone. Okay, okay, okay. Part of me wants to believe that, okay? But then another part of me is like, well, he's been out and about doing other stuff, shown doing other stuff, um, buying a car, um, just other stuff on social media. Like, with fan, you know, a mean scene with fans and stuff like that. And his attitude seemed he was, like, unbothered. But, um, maybe he was taking the time to reflect. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt here. Um, do I condone his actions? No, I don't. Um, what I've heard come out about him from people who have worked with him, um, who've been the recipient of his ma manipulations, his in chains, it's terrible. And I hope in this video that he really takes accountability and says, you know what, I've been a shitty person, but I'm really going to change. Because what he needs to understand is that he is very influential and he has touched a lot of people. And he's almost become this YouTube phenomenon, you know what I mean? And it's like, he needs to t take that in stock and take responsibility for that. And realize that it's not okay to use your fame, your money, your position to manipulate people. Maybe he thought that was a way to, like, make friends, um, stay powerful. I don't know. I don't know what his motivations are. But he needs to understand that the negativity he puts out, he's going to get back tenfold. And if, if he still secretly thinks that he is not going to be held accountable, that it's not going to touch him, you know, that the money and the fame that everything he has now is going to somehow create a barrier between accountability and him, he's dead wrong. Like, even with this video, I, I, I don't know if he's ever going to recover from this, that people are ever going to trust him again. So... Jeffrey, I really hope you learn from this, and I really hope you really change as a person. And, I don't know, I mean, you have so much, he has so much to give, and he has a huge platform, he could do so much positive with it, and instead, he's behind the scenes using people, manipulating people, um, 
holding information, like serious information about a sexual assault. And it's like, it's, that's not tea. That's not something you hold over somebody. You know, if you had information like that, you should have gone to the police. But you know what? I'm going to save the rest of what I want to say. I mean, I'm, I'll talk in between, but like, I just want to say that going forward. But like I said, I really hope he's, has taken time to seriously reflect. I'm like, I hope this is genuine and not just another fucking PR move because girl, you're going to lose everything. People aren't going to support you in, in any way if you are not taking this as serious as, as seriously. I, I, I mean, doesn't matter. Like, seriously, if people are going to stop buying your products. I mean, that's going to... People are going to stop watching your YouTube channel. I mean, <sighs> we know whatever. And I've come to a lot of realizations and it's been really important to actually understand everything that I was a part of, that I did wrong, um, and really start a new chapter for myself. I've spent a lot of time realizing why I do certain things and why I do the things that I do. And today, there are no excuses. Um, a year ago, I did a video called Never Doing This Again, and I meant that. And 2020 has been really, really crazy, and I have added to the chaos. When I filmed my video called... Okay, so, sorry, I... So, I really hope he's going to address why he hasn't been supporting Shane publicly. Um, explain away his... I hope really hope he explains about his obsession with James Charles that goes beyond him being jealous because like I don't know if James Charles assaulted anybody I don't have any proof of that and I'm not going to propagate that but um you know it seems to me from what I've heard Jeffrey is literally obsessed with James Charles like he I think maybe in some way he feels threatened by him I don't know I mean but the thing is Jeffrey there's room for both of you. You both, I think maybe he needs to realize that they, they both bring something special in their own way. It doesn't have to be who's going to be better than the other. It's like Jeffrey has his own style and so does James, you know, James Charles has his own style. But you know what? As for Shane, well, I, that's a whole nother video in itself. And I, I just hope maybe he comes out with another explanation and just it explains things, you know. Instead of going, like, I mean, that video of him on Instagram, him throwing that freaking tantrum over Tati's video, like, holy crap. Like, that was the dumbest move he could have made. <laughs> Never doing it again. I meant every word in the video. Did I slip up? Am I human? Have I done some fucked up things? Of course I have. That's putting it mildly, Jeffrey. Like, you going behind, you know, behind the scenes, getting people drunk or high or whatever, and, you know, making them say things that they may not want to say, you know, and then using it against them. Like, I, I just don't understand pe how people think they can rationalize and think that's okay. That is so fucked up. Like, fuck, man. But at the end of the day, today, once again, I will not be exposing anyone. For everyone saying Jeffrey's- Oh, oh, wait a minute. You're sitting here saying you have receipts of this alleged sexual assault that James Charles did to someone. And now, oh, I'm not going to show receipts. No, what you needed to do, Je Jeffrey, is go to the fucking police and say, um, I have this thingy of somebody admitting- Instead of holding it. I mean, how do we know that that's not somebody you hired just to do that tape? You know, he has the money, he has power. I mean, he ha he it's been told that he's been keep, you know uses money to keep people quiet, you know, and and uses and and bribery and threats to make people say things just so it it benefits him. You know, <laughs> I mean, fuck, man. See, when you take that all into account, it's really hard to watch this kind of video. You know, because you're thinking, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking right now, how do I know this is not another PR move? Because I supported him, you guys. I, like, this is a safe, self-made man. 
you know, he brought, you know, he did the, you know, he, he's worked so hard to get what he, to get where he is. And it's, it's, it's you know, it's like, to hear all of this, it's like, it's such a shame, you know? Why? <laughs> it's, it's a shame. But, you know, that's where it begins and ends with me, you know? We're gonna be coming with the receipts and we all need to be, be get ready to forgive. That is the opposite of who I am. I know I'm dramatic, I'm crazy at times, I'm outspoken, but at the end of the day, that is not who I am. And today, I will not be sitting here showing a million text messages. Then why, then why have you been threatening it, though, for, for, like, ever? Oh, I have this and I have that. Behind the scenes. Like, on that po podcast or whatever. Why then continue to threaten and tell people, text people and say, Oh, my God, look, I have this thingy, whatever. Why just not go to the police say, look, I'm not going to show this type of re receipt because it's serious and I need to go to the police. Why not just do that and just say that? Why hold on to this? Oh, maybe it's not real. Maybe that's why you're holding on to it and you're just using this fake assault story to try to tarnish James Charles because you're so fucking butthurt that he's becoming maybe more successful than you are. I, it's just so fucking ridiculous. This is, you know what gets me about these people? Like, Jeffrey, Shane, they have so much to be grateful for. They have money. They have influence. They, you know, they're, they live the li a life that people would only dream of, and yet they do this shit. I just don't understand it. Maybe it's because I'm I'm poor. I mean, fuck, I'm poor, okay? And my life is like, I'm grateful for what I have. Um, I'm not saying that, that maybe they're not grateful. I'm just saying I feel like they've lost sight of what's really important. That it could all go away in this drop of a hat. Look what happened to Shane. He lost, he lost his channel, basically. His monetization, he's not going to make any more money off that. From what I understand. Like, I don't know if he's gotten the his ads or whatever back. I don't know if he's gotten monetization back, but he's pretty much lost everything. It all goes away at the drop of a hat. That's why I'm saying it's, you need to you need, continue to be humble and take stock of the fact that you're only here. You know, you're here because be a good person. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what? Be a good person. Don't do shitty things. Yeah, we're all human. We make mistakes, but Jesus Christ, there's a limit. There's a limit. You know, being rich does not give you the okay to treat people like shit and do whatever the fuck you want. It just doesn't. I don't care who you are, how influential you are, how much money you have. It does not give you the right to be a shitty person. Is and all, all these things that allegedly are out there. That That's not it. I will not be entertaining it. My lawyers are entertaining it behind the scenes, but I will not be. I know this may sound shocking coming from my mouth, but when you accept that you are the problem, you can become the solution. And I've definitely put myself in the victim mentality before when I knew I was wrong and maybe, not maybe, I didn't want to admit it, I wasn't ready to and I was too insecure. But today, there are no excuses. I'm someone that has impulse control and I'm fully admitting my flaws and I hope that people can learn from me. I have moments where I get fired up, I don't think things through, I don't think about how my actions will affect others while I'm saying them. And when you speak from your emotions without fully processing something, it is one of the most unhealthy things and that is a very major problem of mine. A lot of people want me to address this situation. You know, that's a good thing to, to put out there. And you know what? I'm, that's something I, I wish... Thank you, Jeffrey. I wish I would have said that because um, when I was doing the Chantel and Amber video that I just did today, because um, that's another problem, especially with Chantel, is that she very impulsive. Impulse control is not one of her strong suits and that's why she's cycling so hard sorry I just wanted to say that but I'm glad you said that Jeffrey I'm glad you at least admitted that like, I'm trying to be fair you guys okay I'm trying to be fair and a lot of people were putting a time stamp like Jeffrey you need to speak on this right now and I think that we live in a world where people are just so used to doing what people want right away and that's not good either. 
I think it's been very important to stay off of social media. I haven't been on in weeks. I haven't read anything. I haven't clicked a video. I haven't seen Dude, but you have. You were on YouTube and you were shown... What? Okay. You were on a YouTube video. Somebody else's YouTube video about a car. And then you were shown... But you have... Okay, okay. You know what? Whatever. Seen anything. And it's been really about finding myself again and remembering why I'm here and and how my actions can affect other people. All the people. while, flexing your new car, flexing with your fans. Like, okay. Whatever, whatever. Okay. And everyone around me. I know there's a lot of people waiting for me to address the situation. Now... I didn't try to take anyone down. I'm not a villain in a movie. This isn't a Netflix. I didn't try to take anyone and thing. I haven't clicked a video. I haven't seen anything. And it's been really about finding myself again and remembering why I'm here and and how my actions can affect other people and everyone around me. I know there's a lot of people waiting for me to address the situation. Yep. Now, I didn't try to take anyone down. I'm not a villain in a movie. This isn't a Netflix series with a crazy storyline. I know it sounds like it. Do, but that's exactly what you were doing, though. You were trying to take James down and, you, and, and manipulating and... I mean, you're obsessed. Just fucking own up to it, dude. And just say, look, I'm insecure. You know, James is... You know... I'm afraid James is going to take my place. Dude, there's room for the both of you. Like, seriously, you're unique in your own way, and James is unique in his own way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you all bring something different to the platform. I think he needs... I mean, he obviously is insecure. And Jeffrey, you're very... Like, aside from all the drum, all the shit that you've done, you're talented, Okay. You're an amazing makeup artist. I mean, you've made a, you've had bumps, but you you have talents that. I mean, it's just. I'm sorry. I just don't like. But you know what? It, it, it saying you know, I'm like I'm insecure. It's it's just human. Shows he's human. You know, I think people have this idea about celebrities. Like you know, they're supposed to be these these perfect all-knowing people and that they can't they'll make mistakes and when they do it's like oh my god this person made a mistake let's let's you know let's go after them for it you know what i mean you know let you know they're supposed to be perfect you know and we put this on put them on these pedestals and it's like, like you can't do that you know it's not fair and i'm but like i say this is not me like disregarding what jeffrey has and Sh jeffrey has done this is not me disregarding what shane has done um, or anybody else who is part of this drama that has done bad things. I'm just saying, you know, it must be difficult to be in that position where you, you know, you're in the public light and you feel like you ha you're on this pedestal sometimes. People hold you up to this higher standard and it's like, that ain't fair, you know? That ain't fair. But okay, sorry. Just wanted to say that. And trust me, I'm sure I'd watch it as well, but this is my real life and a lot of things that are happening and being said are false. When someone else tries to take someone Wait. else down or their career and it doesn't work, you can't just take a few more down with you. There are some receipts, Jeffrey. You gotta, dude, there are receipts though. I, I, like, I'm not gonna like get into receipts, okay? But I'm gonna say there are receipts of, in, of proving that some of, you know, these things that you've said are true, so. It's up to you to say, okay, see, here's the thing. It's up to you to say, this is what's true, this is what's not true. And get into the receipts and everything. That's what I'm saying. I think that, you know, whatever. But, you know, whatever. He's going to do this the way he's going to want to do this, whatever. And it's his choice, you know. And whatever comes out of this, he needs to just accept the consequences. Because actions have consequences. The, you know, there are some people out there who think that they can do whatever they want and there's no consequences to their actions. And they just, that's just not how, that's not real life. That's not how life works. We have to all take accountability for our own actions and yes. no one else's. And that's what I will continue to do. And if I don't, please fucking remind me. Now, I know that I've had a very hard time doing that in the past. And that what? will not be happening Sorry. again. I keep on talking now, too much. Now, did I mix myself up? Please fucking remind me. 
when someone else tries to take someone else down or their career and it doesn't work, you can't just take a few more down with you. That's not how life works. We have to all take accountability for our own actions and no one else's. And that's what I will continue to do. And if I don't, please fucking remind me. Now I know that I've had a- Okay, then Jeffrey, somebody clip this and then when he does start doing shit again, just say, Jeffrey, hello, remember what you said in this video? Seriously. Like, save this video for yourself and save that moment when you said that. And, and then, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. Very hard time doing that in the past, and that will not be happening again. Now, did what? I mix myself up in drama? Did Damn I it. Very hard accountability for our own actions and no one else's. Sorry. And that's what I will continue to do. And if I don't, please fucking remind me. Now, I know that I've had a very hard time doing that in the past, and that will not be happening again. Now, did I mix myself up in drama? Did I speak on things I shouldn't have sp uh, speak on? You can't say it's not going to happen again, Jeffrey. Just say, I will try to not let it happen again. If this is your attempt to try to humanize yourself to people, you need to not speak in so much absolutes. You know what I mean? But whatever. Of course I did. Did I believe certain things instead of asking the source? Did I get caught up in the hype? Did I do dumb shit? And did I not just simply call James Charles and ask questions myself, 100%, and that is my fault. I would yep. like to personally apologize to James Charles for the words that Good. I've said and for my actions. If I was really close with someone, I should have had the ability to just simply call them and ask and say, hey, these were the things that were being said to me. Instead, I didn't. I let people really gas me up, get me going behind the scenes, and I really fell for a lot of things and I got caught up in the hype. It's disgusting, it's awful, and none of it should have happened. So, yeah, you got really cut up and you try to even put, get Blair White into it. Like, seriously. It's just, I love, I mean, here's the thing. This is a very generalized, like, apology video. And I like that he's doing this and coming out and saying this and, you know, saying, yes, I'm human. I, you know, I did these things, but I know there are going to be people that are going to require like him to pick part, e go through everything to clarify, but you know, whatever. But where was I going with this? Ugh, I'm tired. I had a really long day. I don't know if I told you guys, if you watch my Amber video, but I had a really bad episode last night and it was just, my mind is still muggy for it, <laughs> so please forgive me. So James, I am truly sorry for my actions and my behavior. 2020 has been very tumultuous for a lot of us. It has been a very crazy year, and I think that James and myself and anyone involved would agree with me that there are way bigger issues happening on this planet. I know that some people may, Jeffrey, you're just saying this as a distraction. Jeffrey, you, no. Reality is here, and makeup, drama, and beauty, community, gossip, and tea, it may be entertainment for you, and it used to be for me, but it's my life, and it's their lives. And right now, outside of our walls, our world is falling apart, and it's truly shocking. So I'm not going to give you an expose of the beauty community. I'm not going to end anyone today. I've never blackmailed anyone in my life. I've never committed a crime before and I've never been to jail. Oh, wait a minute. You never blackmailed anyone in your life? You never, mm, Jeffrey, by you holding that information back about the alleged, you know, assault? That's a crime in a way. I, I, I know there's a video about it. Somebody who's like an expert on that stuff. That's a crime. So, honey, yeah, you, you kind of did. <laughs> But look, um, and there's, you know, proof of you saying that in a, on a public, I think it was a, a podcast or a radio show, but honey, yeah. <sighs> I just, I, I have, I very mixed, uh, look, I, I, this is a genuine raw reaction. You know, my opinion might change later on as more, as I is I absorb more information about this, but I just don't know how to feel, you know? Part of me feels like this is a PR move, but another part of me is like, maybe he just did need time just to 
process everything and just think of what, you know, think of what he really wanted to say. You know, because, you know, sometimes it's good to do that, you know, when you're in a situation like this. Instead of just going out and just saying what first thing comes to your mind, you want to take some time and just process the, the what's going on and just take that time to really think about what, what you're going to say. Especially when you're speaking to such, such a wide audience, you know? So, because this is, this is, you know, a career, possible career ending thing, you know? So I can understand th on that, on that aspect. Um, it's been... <laughs> hard to process a lot of what is being said, but involving the situation, I would just like to say that James Charles, I'm very sorry. Anything else that you guys want to know, it will never be spoken about. You can ask other people. I, just like last year, have fully removed myself. And did I get swept up into the bullshit again? Of course I did. And for that, I'm forever embarrassed of. Now, Breonna Taylor still has no justice. Black trans women are being murdered every day and the news is silent. Elijah McClain has no justice and the countless other people who are murdered every single day while everyone just goes about their business like nothing's happening. And I think that drama and the beauty world, which I have definitely been a part of, it all has to stop. Now, six months ago, before COVID and everything hit our world, it was such a different place for all of us. And including myself, it's really time to reflect on the big picture. Now, Shane Dawson. He is one of my best friends and someone who helped me remember who I am when I was starting to crack and lose focus of who I really was. He is genuine, amazing, he is selfless, no. and he is one of the most kind people that I've ever met in my entire world. I That's not what other people who have worked with him are saying. Look. Maybe in some ways he is. I don't know. I don't know him as a person. But you need to take account of the fact that... See, I'm not giving him time to, to do that, but... Um, I just want to say, that's not what other people are saying. There are people that have come out saying, this is how I was treated by Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson has been a very manipulative person to other people. You need to, this is what I'm saying, you know, I know he's just trying to be above it, whatever, and trying to do whatever, and I get that. But you need to understand, Jeffrey, that there are people that have come out that are saying, I was treated this way by Shane Dawson, and they're feeling comfortable now because... I, you know, empowered now, you know, I guess it's, it must have been scary to, to, to try to speak out against somebody as famous as Shane Dawson, but because the situation, I guess they're using it as a time to like, you know, now maybe fi finally I can come out and say the truth, you know, but you need to take that into account, Jeffrey, that there are people that have come out and sp spoken out against Shane, that he's not the nice person that... He's put out, you know, he's trying to, the image that he's putting out there. I know that Shane would put his family and friends before himself in a flash. Now, did Shane and I get caught up in the drama and do some dumb shit? Of course we did. But that is my best friend and I was actually truly shocked that people thought that I was going to distance myself from him or that my silence was anything but support. I know Shane from now. I don't know Shane from 10 years ago and he doesn't know me from 10 years ago. Now, do I agree with Shane's past actions? Of course I don't. And does he agree with my past behavior? Of course he doesn't. Okay. I know the amazing person that he is today, and you don't abandon your friends. I know a lot of people have said, Jeffrey, you've had a lot of tumultuous friendships in the beauty world. Yes, I 100% have, but in reality, I have a lot of amazing real people behind the scenes, and I'm forever grateful for those people who always remind me of who I am, because lately, I definitely was slipping. Now, what me and Shane accomplished together, business-wise, I hope that it inspires anyone out there that wants to start a business, that is an entrepreneur, or who is afraid to get off their feet. Because remember, I used to be homeless and work at the mall. <laughs> and I really just said, you know what? I want to create my own vision, and that's what I did. And he has always believed in me. All right, now- And that's what I always respected about Jeffrey, is that he went from being homeless, having nothing, to this. But- I hope you didn't step on people's necks to get there, Jeffrey, because eventually that's going to come back to haunt you. But 
And that's always what I respected him. And I use that as inspiration for myself because it's just like, you know, anybody can do it. You know what I mean? And I had always been in this posi- in this mind frame where I'm not good enough or special enough to go out there and, and, and actually do something like that. And that's why I watch channels like, I, I was watching channels like Jeffrey and then, you know, recently I started watching channels like um, Johanna Yitten and Isabel Page because those people are just, you know, they, they, they quit their life that they were living that they weren't happy with and then they went out and, and actually started to live their own passion, their passion, you know, despite the hardships that they knew that they were going to face, they went out and did it. And now, like, Johanna is really successful. She's living where she wants to live. She's got married. Um, you know, she has a successful YouTube channel. She she gets to paint. And um, her husband says, you know, silversmith, they smell jewelry. I mean, her videos are absolutely fucking incredible. It's like out of another, another world. Um, and with Isabel Page, I mean, she went out, quit, you know, and started to go in the mountains where she wanted to live and... and live a, a very simple life, you know, something that I wouldn't mind doing, doing something that I've always liked in the back of my mind thought that's something that I really want in my life, you know, but, um, as for Jeffrey, I mean, that's all, that, like I said, that's, all, that's why I respected him so much is because of that aspect, because he went through so much freaking adversity to get where he is, but Moving on. Now, no matter what narrative anyone tries to spin of me, I am so fucking proud to own an inclusive makeup company. Since I opened my doors in 2014, I have created products for everyone. Any product, shade, or formula I've created has worked for any race, gender, and most importantly, I want you guys to remember that all beauty matters. And from the very first ad of my company, I have always shown people of color and anyone, no matter what size your body are or what gender you are, you are accepted in Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I know- okay, Yeah, but you know, you need to address this, the racism. The racism. Dude. You've been heard to say racist shit and stuff. Look, maybe that's the past. I don't know. So saying, I haven't been watching him as long as- I didn't know of him for as long as a lot of people. Maybe it's been like, I think it's been like maybe three or four years. Um, I, I think, I can't remember when I started watching Jeffrey. I know it's been a couple years. Same with Shane. So I don't know the, the past past, okay? So I can't speak on that. But I know there's been racism and it's been recent. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's so hard to know the truth when there's so many different, you know, fucking versions of it. And it's like... Part of me right now, with the knowledge that I have, I have I, I have to take what he's saying with a grain of salt and just take it as is right now because I just don't have the relevant information. But whatever, you know. A lot of people try to deter from my message and sometimes I've deterred it myself through negativity and drama, but that won't be happening anymore. I will always use my platform and my voice for good. Now, I remember when brands were making 10 concealers and 15 foundation shades, and they thought that that was correct. I remember speaking up very loudly to my peers and other people in this industry saying that it was wrong, and I got a lot of shit for it, but I always stick up for what's right, and I always will. When huge corporations have- That is true, though. He was speaking up against that, because I remember watching videos of his where he's just like, oh, come on, you guys. That's just how many shades you have? Like, so yeah, that's true. Can't say no to that, because- Okay. Stolen from small brands, I was the first one to speak up very loudly. Now, sometimes it can be misconstrued for drama or tea no. or being sarcastic, but the message was always that no, you have to do right in this industry. And that's what I'll always stand by. Now, I just want to say thank you to everyone out there who has been supporting me, DMing me, messaging me, and just showing so much love. I know that sometimes it's not popular to be a fan of me, to be my friend, but it has been so much for all the ride or dies and the millions of people who have just been waiting for me to come back. Um, just know that it has been very important to actually self-reflect and not just grab my phone and say whatever I, I'm feeling in that moment. This has been me silent for a reason. I've been really, really working on myself. Um, and I definitely was distracted. There's also been a lot of things going on in my personal life, which will never be excuses and I'm not gonna talk about them today, but just know that we're all human beings and we're all going through a lot. What is next? 
you guys know, Jeffree Star Cosmetics will never be slowing down and I'm so excited for everything that is coming for the rest of 2020. I know that the makeup world is changing, the beauty community is shifting, and COVID has transformed our entire world. But what's coming next is one of my most exciting projects ever and I can't wait. Um, August is going to be very exciting. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and listening to my words and thank you for allowing me to have time to articulate my thoughts and not just upload a video out of emotions. I will be back very soon with new videos, new makeup tutorials, and of course new products. So thank you guys so much for watching this and I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye guys. Okay, so like I don't know where I stand with Jeffree Star personally as a fan um, or a former fan. Um, the only thing that is going to help with him is time and his hard work and dedication to be more positive both on YouTube and off YouTube and actually really work on it because the longer you, Jeffrey, the longer you continue to act that way off, you know, badly like that, it's going to keep on coming back to you. People are going to continue to speak out. We're in a, a, a cult, uh, you know, socially right now, we're in a culture where people are coming out and, and speaking about abuse and not being afraid of it. I mean, look at Jeffrey Epstein, look at Weinstein, you know, look at Ghislaine Maxwell, look at those, those situations. Like people are coming out and it's amazing. You know, it's like finally powerful people are getting taken down and being taken down and, put it in their place because it is not okay to use your wealth and fame and position to manipulate and to harm or abuse people. It's just not. You know, you have a responsibility as a person of position and power and, and wealth to be a positive influence and be a, and to work on changing the world you know it's not easy it can be I, I can imagine it can be very hard to be in that position but you're there you know you put yourself there and you're there for a reason people aren't perfect and the, that's the thing that I'm trying to keep in mind that's something that on myself that I I need to remind myself that nobody's perfect you know and that I that's you know I put putting standards on people it's something that personally I am really working on and putting standards on myself that I mean I have expectations of myself that are so high that I that I feel stupid when I realize I'm like I can't do this right now I'm not at that place right now but I want it so bad you know but um it's just the 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 more the moral the moral of my of my argument here is that you put negativity out there, you're going to get 10 times back. You have positivity out there, you're going to get it 10 times back. Um, being on a public platform like YouTube, being a public figure, you're not always going to get the ass pats and attention that you want, that you think you deserve. And, you know, um, there's going to be always somebody out there that's going to just be a shitty person and not agree with you or whatever. And, when you become, um, when you come on a public platform and be a public, public person, you need to understand that and just accept that, you know? And that's why I'm saying, when I talk about people like Chantal and Amber, you know, that is why they're not being successful in their lives and with their weight loss and everything. It's because they don't understand that concept. And I think for a while, maybe Jeffrey didn't understand that concept. Maybe, you know, you know what I mean? Like, maybe he was a little bit too arrogant. I don't know. I'm not going to... I don't know him as a person. I don't know him well enough. I don't cover him very much. But, um, you know, I, I guess it'd be easy to... When you're in such a high position to get caught up in it, you know? And develop a certain... You know, to, to adopt a certain arrogance where you think you're infallible, you know? And sometimes it takes a situation like this to bring you down to size and you think to yourself... Yeah, gee, I've been I've been an asshole, and I need to understand that this can all go away in the drop of a hat. But when it comes to Amber and Chantel, it's like they don't understand that concept, 
and they they want they feel like they they deserve the attention and the aspects but and any of the actions that they take there's not going to be any consequences and whenever there are whenever they don't get that attention that they think that they think they deserve they uh for their shitty behavior and they get you know they get they throw tantrums T Chantel is a very very good example of that and it's like it's just not reality. You, you, you're not going to get ass pats and praise for being a shitty person. You're going to get called out. Internet is a really harsh place. It's like high school, you know? <laughs> like, you got to always be on your toes. And, you know, when I, like, and I've said this before in my other videos, when I went, started on YouTube, I was, I understood that, that not everybody is going to agree with me. Sorry, I I can't help but stare at this anal beads Nicholas Cage thing. Like, what the fuck? Um, get off that because that's kind of weird. Anyways, um, um, I knew that I you know I wasn't always gonna get continuous likes. I know there's always there was always gonna be somebody that wasn't gonna like my content, wasn't gonna agree with what what is not gonna agree with what I'm, what I'm gonna say, what I'm saying. Um, and I accept that, you know. And the way I deal with it is I try to create a dialogue with that person and try to understand where they're coming from and see if there's any truth to what they're saying. Now, if it's just pure hate and just vitriol, if I hope I'm saying that word right, um, then I just take what they say with a grain of salt and I just ignore it basically because with the contempt that it deserves. But when I feel like there is something constructive in what that person is saying, I, I really think about it. Okay, so um, that's just the way I am. Anyways, um, something embarrassing happened today. Right after, uh, so after making my Amber Lynn Reed video and posting it, <laughs> I decided I'm gonna go for a bike ride, and it was like nine o'clock, whatever, and it was pretty much going dark. And I thought it's it's cooler. I'm gonna go for a bike ride. I couldn't get on the bike, you guys. Like, my legs hurt so bad, I could not get on the bike. And then, the tire was flat. I almost fell. I'm like, oh my god, why is this happening? And then my the, my drink thing that was uh, that I got for my bike fell off. I'm like, it's it, it's not happening today, you guys. So, I don't know. Um, Because of my, this, the way the seat was, my old seat, I wasn't able to really ride the bike. And I don't think I'm as ready about for bike riding as I thought I was. And I'm upset because I got all this new stuff for it. Got the seat. I got the um, the cup holder or whatever. But it just... It, I, I don't think I'm just at that point yet. And I'm going to start off slowly. To, I mean, I know I'm going to the gym. But... Um, Maybe I think bike riding may be too much for that for, it's too much for my body to handle right now. And um, I'm gonna be in between gym days doing walks with my dog and I think that's gonna be better for me. Um, now as for the inline skating, um, I haven't got the I haven't tried on the boots. I don't know I, well actually I, um, According to what I've been doing research on, on the sizing of the boot of inline skates, um, it's pretty much the same size as your actual other shoes. So I know my size. I'm just looking for used. There is a, I actually found a place, a used, where I can buy actual used ones. Because, um, I don't know, I've, just people saying go, you know, on Facebook, maybe they have a used pair, or, um, eBay. I've had a lot of issues with eBay, you guys. I don't trust them and PayPal. So, um, I've been looking for stores where they sell used ones for reasonably priced. So, that's where I'm going to be going because it's just... eBay really screwed us over at one point and so did PayPal. And I'm just very leery about it. Um, which is why I haven't um, completed the tax forms, you know, and set up for my Twitch because... Well, for one, because I'm not working, so I have to have my dad. My dad pretty much has to do the tax information, whatever, so I can sign up for that. But um, it's just I'm, you know, I, I'm I'm kind of trying to figure out where how I want to set up the account, 
you know, eventually maybe I'll be monetized on YouTube. You know, I'm trying to get, you know, monetized on Twitch. I don't know if I want to go through PayPal. I'm just very leery about it. Um, but I'm just, I'm just so mad because I, I really thought I'd be okay on the bike once I had the seat and it's, it's better. I mean, it's a lot better, but it's just still not like I, it, I was so wobbly, you know, um, I just need to do more at the gym, strengthen my legs more at the gym, maybe do strengthening my, do more core strengthening. Cause I know that's a big part of it. Um, as my back as well. I, I just, it's going to take time. So, uh, I don't think this, this maybe this summer or even fall, I'm going to be able to bike ride, but I'm glad I did get the seat and everything. I have it. It's there. I don't have to worry about it, but I will try. I will at least try maybe within a month. I don't know, maybe end of August. Um, but I just need time. But, um, other than that, uh, I'm so mad because I haven't done the fig bar recipe yet, made the fig bars, and I wanted to make it for, we were supposed to go over my sister's today, it did not happen, my sister got sick, and it's too late to do it now, I don't have all, everything that I need, I thought I had, I need, I, I don't have enough nuts, basically, um, so I have to wait to do that, because I wanted to surprise my sisters with it, but, um, yeah, but, I'm going to try at least to get out into some parks, whatever. There is one with a quarry, whatever. And, um, I know it's so, see, it's so hard with COVID right now to go to places like that, but I feel like it's important, you know, try to go out somewhere and find like places where there's not going to be many people. You don't really have to worry about that. Um, and just enjoy nature, you know, cause that's what a lot of people are doing there and people having the same idea. So sorry. Um, but anyways, uh, gotta go. And by the way, if, if you want me to actually, you know, I'm going to do it anyways. Um, I'm going to post, um, for, for anybody that's really interested in, um, people who live simpler lives and stuff like that. Um, I'll post the link to Isabel Page's recent vlog. Um, her vlogs are amazing. Just like Johanna's like, seriously, um, like, I don't know where this is, but this is sort of like the, um, the kind of area where Isabel lives. This is the kind of area where I would want to live, you know, in the mountains somewhere, you know, like, it's just amazing. Um, but I really do enjoy her videos and hope you guys will too. So if people ask me if I should do a reaction. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Um, enough of me babbling. I hope you guys enjoy this video for what it's worth. Enjoy my commentary. I'm sorry. I talk too much. You guys know me. <laughs> um, but you know, I, I, I just, I'm a person that has a lot to say and you know, whatever. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video, or any of the videos I've made so far on my platform, please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me about any of my social media accounts. And I hope you guys understood that. Um, hope you're happy, healthy, and safe. And yeah, I love you guys. So peace out, my ninjas.